We are, this is the afternoon before the competition. Right now, I just feel a bit nervous. Um, more nervous because of my ankle. If I didn't have my ankle, I wouldn't feel less nervous. But right now, I just feel like all our hard work is going to pay off. Uh, me and David have been speaking strategy all day today. Um, today is actually the longest I've walked because I actually flared up this tendon last week when we were doing a run through of the actual competition, which we completed in really good time. So um, yeah, this is the longest I've actually walked all week. I did like 15K today, we walked about 15K. Um, I haven't been able to run it just yet because I want to save it for Saturday. I've been cycling on and off. Uh, and just doing rehab, rolling it out with the baseball, rolling it out with, uh, we've got another ball there that I'm using. The ankle's good like that. Oh, you can hear it pop. The ankle's good like that. It's this range of motion that hurts. And basically, it's my perineus, which is this. The brevis, there is a tendon right here that's pretty sore. It's just inflamed and aggravated, but only when I like really put pressure on it. Otherwise, it's okay. But yeah, combination right now with some free spray and some compression, I'll rest and then we'll see how we do. Actually looks like a pharmacy, look at this man. So we've got a Barocca for vitamins, hydrations, we've got the ibuprofen for this ankle, <laughs> got the electrolytes keeping it good, magnesium, that's for the rest of recovery. So much more ibuprofen on deck, this is for the day. I took some aspirin, well, anodin, just in case. Deep freeze to keep the inflammation down. Yeah, we've got the tape and we've got the bandage. Obviously, I've got the tubular socks on. I think I'm gonna race in these bad boys. I've been breaking them in for the past few days. And this is what I normally race in, but they're heavy. This is like running on cushions. And they've got this extra bit of sole on the inside. And this is to stop my ankle from rolling. I think I've just done damage in these. So we're gonna race in these bad boys. We are getting a little cycling, 45 minutes. This is the best thing for me right now, no impact. Does well on the leg, feels good. How are you feeling, David? He's a, he's a silent, he's saying he's camera shot, but he's, <laughs> he's a silent killer, man. Look at that, the boy looking cut. Looking good, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we're just gonna give it all. But yeah, life on the bikes. This guy well, I don't know looks like he's going for the win. <laughs> <laughs> we just got told you look like we're going for the win. That's because we are. I just need. Yeah, what's this? What are you looking at? I this is not coconut water. Coconut this water. is juice. Yeah. Just need water. I got the sweets. Quick carbs. This guy wants a sponge. Ain't no sponge in sight. This is the only sponge they've got. Is that enough, man? What was this? It's a phone. <laughs> no sponges here. Cheeky banana for the carbs. <laughs> Thanks. Crazy. We, we ready for this. We about to go up. The carbs. I'm not gonna eat all this, I'm gonna have like half of it. Oh, what is this? This is a margarita. I don't even know what this is. Is this chili flakes? Is it chili flakes or is it nuts? It looks like nuts. Nah, no, it's gotta be chili flakes. I just want the margarita. This is not a margarita. What if I was vegan? This is the biggest bowl they had. <laughs> Pre workout of champions. We're going to go to my yeah, mom's bedroom. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Just say you're in fact, and it just stand on business. Ah, we stand on business. Ah, I see it. Ben, I didn't even bless, man. Good night. Hey, call me in the morning. Mad. So, mad before, we just spent the night watching film. Lawrence is here, so we've got the video set, discussing strategy. I've had my oats, had my pizza, I've had my carbs, I'm going to shower, and then KO, it's lights out. So how are you feeling today? <laughs> nervy, nervy. David came up earlier, we had a little bit of a talk, played some m, &M. <laughs> I think under normal circumstances, I shouldn't be nervous, because we did the work. My tendon here is just, it's not even, it's not like it's gone, it's just very inflamed and aggravated, right? So it's just a matter of like, 
running as fast as I can whilst looking out for that injury. So I have to kind of take my mind off it. So I've got ibuprofen. <laughs> We've got tape. We're gonna tape it in, compress it a little bit, and then yeah, just go from there. <laughs> I just call my dad back as well. My facial routine. Oh, see. Some cream. I can't even see what I look like. Yeah. Do you know what? It's just nice to document and like, you know, going through this is memories, so have something to look back at. Like how we're feeling. I'm gonna look back at it one day to be laughing about. Like mentally just tap in because your mind is the difference between what makes or breaks you. Because if you overthink things then you're just gonna overthink it till, yeah. till, till it's done. Be in the zone. Just lock in and be confident like. Yeah. Mum see me? Hey dear. How are you ready? I'm ready as I can be man. What's, what's that stat say now? <laughs> My recovery is 43 today, HIV is 18, but that's when I'm in the amber. Amen. Thank you, Pops. Thank you. And I feel like everybody, like everybody sent so many nice messages that I'm just like, I just feel everybody there. So I'm like, okay, cool, everybody's gonna push me. Love. Big love. I took you later, God bless. I was gonna say they pray for you, game over. I'm gonna pop another eye before I go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shit gonna get hard, keep your head strong. If I quit now then I'm dead bro. We're fighting off this hunger for hours, hours. Big step of a meal get stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels like my ankle is hugged. So in case you're in no so. Yeah. Look guys, if I'm getting all the energy, I'm like, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's running up. Oh. Finally, here you know. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Long time coming, man. Long time coming. <sighs> We're going up. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stay warm, keep this uh, injury at bay. Everything's taped in, feel good. Felt nervous at first, but now, like, now that the heart's going, I'm like, let's get over and done with. There's eight stations, so we've got ski run, we've got the sled push, we've got a sled pull, we've got burpees, the rowing, then we've got farmer's carry, which sandbag lunges, and then you've also got wall balls. We do a one kilometer run in between each of those stations. David's the faster runner, so he's gonna be setting the pace. I'm gonna keep up with him. And then when we're doing the functional station, I'm a little bit stronger, so I'll do most of the work there to allow David to catch his breath, and then I'm just chasing after him. The goal is just to keep running down as fast as we can. To keep up with these athletic guys, there's a lot of athletic guys here, like, a lot of really like, solid looking guys here. So just respect the, respect the race, respect the competition, and have a bit of fun. Got to tap him. Cortisol and adrenaline, that's all I am right now. So I don't even know what, what's hurting, what's hurting, what doesn't hurt. I don't care, I'm just, we're going now. And so comes the moment that we've been leading up to. We come flying out of that gate, but there are also some guys in our age group who are absolutely blitzing us when it comes to pace. But the aim of the game here is longevity. So David and I stick to the plan. He is the pacemaker, so I just chase him down 
and we get to the first station which is the ski ERG. David is absolutely gassing it when he's going on his turn and then I'm just catching up with him then I cover some of the ground then he covers some of the ground and we switch and then we finally go on to the next station at this point I'm starting to feel pretty warm so I start speeding up ahead and forget that David is the pacemaker so that means I'm trying to run ahead of the pacemaker because I feel like we can push the pace so when we get to the sled area we're about fifth place in our heat and about second place in our aid group so I see these guys on the sleds and I'm like this is my bit I can push this real fast so here I am pushing it on both ends just rapidly and then David takes the last end at this point all I'm thinking is let's just lock in and go then I'm thinking okay deep breath and it's actually crazy how quickly you start to feel your breathing you start breathing so heavily and just have to remember to breathe out of the nose and we go around do the laps again at this point the pain on the outside of my shin isn't as bad but then all of a sudden I start to feel a tugging on the inside of my leg start to limp I tell David that I think it's gone I limp again, I try and run again, and then bam, I roll to the ground and I realize that my leg is broken. And then the commotion starts. They had a few of the guys surrounding me just to block off all the other racers because they are going for it. Um, and yeah, I just basically had to wait for emergency services to come. I remember looking up and seeing the shock in David's face when he saw that my leg was broken. Um, the paramedics were like, how are you this chill when your leg is broken? But at this point, I realised there was nothing else I could do and the endorphins were kind of taking over at this point. So yeah, then they moved me to the back and I got examined and had to wait for the ambulance to come. That part there. because it's all wrapped <laughs> but you can see it like <laughs> deviating from its normal <laughs> line but it's like it was like this <laughs> David was looking at me like <laughs> and I was just there chilling he's like the he, he guy's like are you sure you broke it I was like nah it's broken <laughs> I was like I was tugging 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 I saw you side the limp yeah I know when you're behind me and I was like and you limped again yeah and you limped again and then I said okay it's gone and then I asked him, I said, are you okay? And he said, no, it's gone. Yeah. And then when he said it was gone, then you, yeah, you went to push it again. And then it, I literally heard the snap. Yeah, I heard the snap as well. The snap was loud. And I just watched my legs go, and then I just saw your face in that corner. <laughs> my dad's going to be like, I told you so. Fair my defense. How can I be more scared of my dad? Because he's a bolo. B, B, O, L, U. And I started going ahead of him, and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm going! And I started limping, and I was like, oh, it's gone. And then he was like, you sure? And I was like, let me check. And then I ran, and then just went, bow! And it just, yeah. it just went, nah. Like, when we came by the third time, we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be bad. I was looking back like, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> I was like, damn it, I don't want to look weak in front of all these people. No, no, it's all really strong. strong. It is yeah. strong. Imagine the person was like that. Oh. Oh, I was man. like, look at all these drunk people yeah. looking at me. <laughs> Mama, I love you. <laughs> this just happened, but we gave our all, and that's all I wanted to do, was just give 100%. And breaking a leg, I think, is <laughs> pretty good proof that you gave it 100%. Um, so it's nice. I'm a bit ashamed. Well, not ashamed. I'm a little bit unhappy that we didn't finish. Um, but mentality-wise, I know that we're going to go again, maybe in a year, two years, um, because of recovery, because it's going to be long. But yeah, I just want my legs to be fixed. It was good while it lasted. Oh, it's starting to get a bit heavy now. I'm going to say it in. Yeah, it's what starting to get heavy. time? In. Okay. Have you done birds? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think I'll tell them when they get to the hospital, bro. Let me, let me, let them, let me get the x-ray and then I can show it to them. Like, I honestly, like, honestly, it's a one out of ten, which is so crazy. But if I start moving it, I know the pain is going to increase. Mentally. Mentally, I feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up so easy, dramatic exit. <laughs>